Fire from Rugspa.ie. So this video today is about viscose. It's uh, a product that is used, or a fibre that is used more commonly in the last 10 years for both rugs and upholstery. Um, you don't really see it in carpet manufacture for one particular reason, and that reason is that viscose is actually paper. Um, viscose is generally bamboo that is treated with caustics and rendered into sort of a, a gloop and it's then pressed through a filament into a yarn with the dye in that gloop that I mentioned beforehand. So this rug down here, for example, is a blue viscose. This one is a gray viscose. And this rug that I'm kneeling on is a wool and viscose. Um, all of these rugs were expensive, um, which is really infuriating for somebody like myself who understands materials because viscose is one of the cheapest materials to make. It is certainly far cheaper than wool um, and even cottons to manufacture. Um, it's manufactured in bulk and sold in the markets as a artificial silk fibre. Um, artif artificial or art silk, also known as rayon viscose. And the fibre is awful. So what happens when somebody that doesn't understand how to operate with viscose or doesn't understand what viscose is ventures to, ventures to clean it is underneath us here. Now I've actually spent eight or nine hours trying to reverse the browning that you might be able to see across the field of the rug where a cleaner has cleaned the rug, turned it brown and then panicked and brought it to us to see if we can mediate it uh, so they don't have a massive claim on their insurance. So you can see this bit of the rug hasn't actually been touched and it's th the colour that it should be and actually aesthetically looks quite pleasing. However, this bit of the rug that was wet cleaned or cleaned with water, um, which is the most common uh, solvent to clean anything with, um, has activated the organic dye in the cellulose or the viscose fiber uh, lignin and that lignin has oxidized and turned brown and I've been trying to reduce this um, through various methods, methamysulfites and peroxides and all sorts of stuff but frankly uh, we tried to, uh, to restore the rug, a um, bit of a panic situation for the uh, carpet cleaner who tried to clean the rug in somebody's house and the rug is now ruined. The viscose rug on the right, this was 5,000 euro out in a, a designer uh, a warehouse out in Blanchardstown. Um, again, 100% viscose and the client's dog had an accident on the rug and you can see where the client has come in with normal cleaning agents, like under the kitchen sink cleaning agents and essentially this shading and pile burst and bleaching and whiting out is irreparably damaged now. So as I've said a few times in the, in the video already, viscose is paper. What happens when you get paper wet? It expands and the fibre bursts and that's exactly what's happened here. So this rug has been subjected to cellulosic browning from the lignin oxidising and this rug has been subjected to fibre distortion, pile distortion and is irreparably damaged. I've actually advised the client because of the cost of this rug to cut out this entire section and have it uh, have the rug restitched along the side because there's nothing that we can do with this. The rug that I'm kneeling on is a Calvin Klein wool and viscose rug that um, a number of carpet cleaners correctly refused to clean because they didn't know how to clean it. We have cleaned the rug um, and the rug has seen about an 80% improvement. Now I say 80% improvement because the client has a dog and the dog has been lying on the outside patches of the rug where there's a coffee table in the middle of the rug here and a, I believe another side table here and the sofa's in front. So again, the cellulose or the viscose has taken moisture from the air, lignin has activated and the rug has actually browned. Now that's not through the process of cleaning, that's through the process of the rug actually being used. On this rug over here, it's rolled up, but there's actually a wear patch where the client has, has got a couch sitting on the other end of the rug, and the, 
viscose has been trampled and matted down. Viscose has a bend and break cycle of 70. Now that means you can bend the fiber 70 times before it breaks. Silk has a bend and break cycle of 3,500. Wool is around the 1,500 uh, mark. There, there, there. So there are variations to that depending on quality. But these rugs, in essence, are disposable. And the only way to clean them is by testing substantially and then either dry cleaning or using a very low moisture method and you must limit the expectations of the client. If anything is spilled on the rugs, unfortunately they're most likely ruined. Um, so the reason I'm doing the video is to display that if somebody uh, uh, is getting a quote to have a viscose rug cleaned and somebody says they're A, going to come along and clean the rug at your home or B, going to wet clean the rug, rug. We have, as you can see, an extremely controlled environment here under the light, so I can see exactly what is going on with the fibres and do a thorough inspection of them before they are cleaned. Had this rug come to me, rather than, than uh, somebody trying to wet clean it, I would have had a similar result to this rug than uh, uh, as, as this one. It's perfectly usable. Its life expectancy is probably about five years from new, um, whereas this rug is two years old, I believe it was about 1500 euros, and it is an insurance write-off now. Um, so it's quite important that you absolutely are familiar with the fibres you're cleaning when it comes to rug cleaning. We do a number of quotes a week where somebody will ring me and say, I've got an art silk rug or I have a silk rug where they've been missold rugs as silk, and they turn out to be viscose. So I get to be the lucky man that tells people that they have artificial false silk rugs and they have specific needs. I actually do have two silk rugs here that we're cleaning today, stroke tomorrow. They're expensive to clean, but they will clean beautifully and they will, they will restore to as new. With a viscose rug, that's next to near impossible because they have a manufactured obsolescence due to the cheap materials that are used in the rugs. So if you'd like a viscose rug cleaner, you'd like my opinion on a rug, please send photographs, email, call, numbers and emails are on the website. Thank you for watching the video.